Bitcoin emergency update. The price is about to tank and we're probably going to see it go below $18,000. And today I'm going to show you why. So if you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. But let's dive straight into Bitcoin because it's not looking good. Now, I said it's not looking good unless you're shorting the market, of course, indeed. So with Bitcoin, we've been going through a correction since November 2021. But more of the recent data is what we're going to focus on right now. We're going to really kind of get this really clear because we had this impulsive move to the downside. And for quite a few weeks now, we've had this overlapping wave structure. But what I want to point out to you right now is if you look at the momentum indicator at the bottom, the blue and the red line. I use something called the Stochastics RSI. And by the way, if you want what, you, what I'm about to share with you today, if you want access to my chart, you can now download my charts for free. So all the analysis that I do, you have access to, including Bitcoin and some of the other cryptocurrencies. Because quite frequently, people ask me about my Stochastics RSI settings because they're so powerful to see what's likely to occur next with the momentum you'll get those settings as well included when you download the charts. You can view them and then you can actually import them into your own trading view. So what I want to really get clear is just look. Let's just look at the information in a non-emotional fashion. Quite frequently, we can see that when the blue line crosses over the red, one, two, three, four, five, the last five times, right, is married up very nicely with the local highs. Right? Can you see that pattern? Right? This is where the momentum indicator can be really powerful, really helpful. By itself, it's not a standalone strategy, but if you can combine it with pattern, price, and time, then all of a sudden you've got something really, really powerful. Then let's just look at the lows, right? Look at the lows. When the blue line goes above the red line, the last one, two, three, four, five times, right? Look, it marries up very nicely, right? We can see that, yeah? You can see that quite clearly over here and even over here. So this is where we can leverage the information from the momentum indicator. It's objective, it's mechanical, and non-emotional. But what most people are not realizing is over the last, how long has it been now? Since mid-June, since mid-June. So you got nearly, what's that, two months? Two months? Since mid-June, every time the price has gone up or the momentum's gone up, Bitcoin's made just a new high. It's been corrective, but a new high been corrective but a new high right a new high and then a new high however so you can see that it lines up right have a look at the last one look at the last one so we want to deduce conclude what does this tell us the we made the bullish reversal which means blue line over the red it's gone into the oversold region which basically means over this black line the over the 75 level but for the first time bitcoin has not made a new high it's just done this correction over here. So what does that tell us? That's a sign of weakness. It's a sign of a breather and a continuation pattern that we're probably going to see the market roll over and continue to the downside. And then we're, which direction do we want to bet on the market? Well, if you are able to short the market, you can make some good money here because this is one of the most impulsive moves of Bitcoin in recent times to the downside. And how to think of it, it's like a sprint. A sprinter has done a 100 meter dash and at the end of the race, he is gasping for air and needs a breather. And that's what this is. This is a breather. It's a rest period. It's a recovery period. And then he's getting ready for the next sprint. And the next line or uh, support that we're probably going to test is this point over here, around the 18,000. And we're probably going to break it. We're probably going to break it and go below this to finish off a macro degree correction. So we want to be aware of this. So don't be too surprised. So what I want to now do, just finish on, is if we just zoom back out, right, really zoom out, and really zoom out, like, like I'm going to even get rid of everything and just zoom out to give real good context on what we're seeing here with Bitcoin, and this is common with all markets and all time frames. More often than not, a market will do a correction in three waves, like this, like this, and then finish off a correction. And the reason I'm showing you this is as likely Bitcoin is going to finish off a major degree correction. And this end of a correction, if it holds, 
is probably going to be one of the best buying opportunities, not only for Bitcoin, but for all cryptocurrency, as, as extreme as the early to mid to the end of 2018 after the 2017 bull run and we had this big correction this is where we are again there's talks of recession there's inflation there's all types of problems which is common for an end of a major macro correction what typically occurs after a macro correction is a continuation of the former trend in other words all-time new highs not overnight we're talking about months and maybe a couple of years but eventually if this correction completes we are likely to see some of the best bullish behavior over the coming months but right now over the coming days literally the coming days we've been patiently waiting and shorting this market in terms of bitcoin it's right now looking not healthy unless you're shorting the market making money as you go down so make sure you download the chart, you get it for free, Bitcoin included, and you'll get all my settings. We've got a weekly, daily, and hourly chart set up, so you can kind of do that, and you can also get it into your own trading view. I normally finish the day with a quote from my book, which you can now actually download for free. You've got some great information there, really on mindset, really understanding money and how to make more money. It's the extraordinary venture capital opportunity, how to invest like a pro. But what I wanted to finish on, which is really, really relevant today, is... The trend is your friend. Ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. So what I, want, I just want to share this with you. You just have to know this. You have to know this. Okay, the daily momentum. So we know that what I was showing you with the red line and the blue line is looking overbought. So it's likely to be sideways to down for a few days, right? A few days, quite a few days. So expect that downside movement. But I also want to just bring to your attention the top left-hand corner chart this is the weekly chart, which is the more macro viewpoint of, of Bitcoin. When we're looking at the macro viewpoint, it is also bearish and it lines up very nicely with the price and it indicates another two, three weeks of sideways to down, right? So don't be too surprised if we're going to get some real bearish behavior, bearish news and bearish announcements just all over the market. One of the problems with cryptocurrency is, well, the pro is it's phenomenal for technical analysis. Because the human emotions are so raw, it's replicated or, or represented in the price action. And we can use that. And we use Elliott Waves, Fibonacci price, Fibonacci time, and then double time frame momentum. Really powerful. But the downside with cryptocurrency is that the news, the FUD, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt, the fear of missing out is strong. And one of the best things you can do is consider turning off the news and just look at the pure technicals and... It gives you more valuable information. And that's what we're showing with the research. Just do that. Let's just finish off with one more quote. It's a bonus quote. Here we go. Beneath every success is a mountain of necessary failure. Many of you would have started your crypto journey close to November last year. And your portfolio is down. But don't be disheartened. Because it's nothing to do with your skill level. Well, some of it is. But most of it is just timing timing and there's going to be a time in the very near future in the coming weeks and months where we're going to see so much optimism so much euphoria in the market any tom dick and harry can be in the right place right time by an average project that's going to do incredibly well because you can buy the best project on the planet in the crypto space but in the wrong time you're going to lose money you're going to buy an average project project in the right time and you're going to make loads of money so timing is a key thing. So we're waiting for the end of this correction. If we do get the reversal, we'll be on point with it as well. And we'll be doing updates with that as well. So the trend is your friend. Ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. Do download the charts. You know, go over the information. And I do update them on a very regular basis.